and that is a pearl of wisdom. They have necklaces, pearls, yeah. They will each have 30 seconds and no more to present their pearl to the room. Make work life balance a priority, not an afterthought. And in fact, work life is a misnomer. Work is part of life. I would suggest uh, what I find is helpful is thinking about this balance in terms of four areas and getting concrete about it. There's work, there's family and friends, that's the second one. Third one is your involvement in the community, and that may be through your spiritual community or groups you volunteer with or your neighborhood. And then the fourth is crucial also, and that is what you're doing for self-growth, uh, for taking care of yourself, and that can include exercise and, and uh, how you eat, how you sleep, what you do to take care of your, your uh, sense of balance. And I think all of these together are what can make you sustainable as a researcher and a clinician in the field. Okay, so uh, my plan is to be flexible, don't necessarily be fixated on a particular exact research topic, but choose something that's good science and uh, think of the best ways in, that, in which that might be addressed. So it's more important to develop skills rather than a particular knowledge of a specific area. Actually, giving a pearl, providing, what did, you, what did you call it? A profound piece of wisdom is fairly easy and I can stay well within 30 seconds. My thing is, do what you like. Do, do what you really, really like and work with people that you like. The single biggest influence in my career has been collaborations. And it takes two important components. Finding hardworking, productive, fun people to work with, but also willing to be hardworking, dependable, and fun people yourselves. Second, um, when applying for grants, don't just look for the big fish like the koi. Look for the little um, um, fish as well because they look pretty in a pond as well. Um, third, um, try to get um, involved in scientific organizations such as the AED because it helps you to uh, network, to facilitate network. Um, fourth, I think it's important to get experience across different units, universities, and countries. And fourth, uh, fifth, and um, most important, be persistent. Uh, I know there will be difficult times, but um, uh, you will always find um, a light at the other end of the tunnel if you have a goal in your mind. So, uh, yeah, thank you. with their pearls. So I've changed my pearl because Eric grabbed my first pearl, which is to like what you do. Like what you do, but here's two more pearls. Don't be afraid of failure. Everyone has some. Don't be terrified of it. You'll live right through it. And enjoy life. My favorite saying is, no one will weigh your Vita at your funeral. Count your publications. Okay, I think the most, most important thing is for a professional career, if you take also care of yourself. You cannot be a good professional if you don't take care of yourself and your personal life. So we already heard about the funeral, which <laughs> they don't talk about with all your publications, but also to look for a good team, good mentors, because we all have had, all the experts here have had a lot of rejections from uh, branding, funding uh, organizations, from journals. And to face that one and to go on is the next step. You need your team and your personal environment is important. Isn't it, Cindy? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is my pearl. When you're a trainee, you typically have exposure to faculty who all do something very similar. They work at major research institutions. 
Um, and so it can be easy to think that that's the only viable career path. But there are a lot of different jobs out there that will allow you to do research and pursue your interests. And so I would say open your mind up to a range of different types of jobs. And if people look at you a little cross-eyed when you say that you may not do what they thought you were going to do, don't worry about it and just do what you want to do. <laughs>